Hey everyone, if you're developing applications with Delphi, C++ Builder, or Lazarus, and you need a reliable and high-performance way to access multiple databases or cloud databases, Unidac is the component set that you need to try. I've used Unidac along with SecureBridge components in my projects, and it's made a significant difference. Moreover, with the ODBC component set, you can set direct and secure connections to cloud services. Unidac stands for Universal Data Access Components, which is a powerful library that provides non-visual, cross-database data access for Delphi, C++ Builder, and Lazarus. This component set lets you connect to a wide range of databases, from MySQL and SQL Server to Oracle, um, MySQLite, and even cloud services like Salesforce and Google BigQuery, all with a single set of components. Well, in my experience, Unitec is a complete game changer when it comes to database connectivity. It's designed to help you develop cross-database applications faster and more efficiently. Moreover, you can integrate any local or server databases when developing mobile applications with Delphi or C++ Builder. So, whether you're upgrading from a Borland database engine or DB Express or just starting a new project, Unitec offers a robust component set that you can rely on. One of the things I love about Unidac is its flexibility. You can easily switch between different database servers just by changing connection options. This means you can maintain a single code base even if your project needs to migrate from one database to another. Besides that, if you're using Unidac connection query table components, you can easily integrate them with other connectivity solutions. For instance, you can easily select ODBC which is a open database connectivity standard API, and you can easily establish secure connections to your database management engines. In a recent project, I needed to connect to both the PostgreSQL and MongoDB. With the unit act, the setup was straightforward, and I didn't have to worry about performance issues when it comes to PostgreSQL. So unit act's optimized code ensured that my application runs smoothly, even with large datasets. And as you know, MongoDB is a NoSQL database product. Since my project was heavily relies on Unitax SQL components like querying, so integrating MongoDB via an ODBC driver ensured that smooth transition and integration. And yes, in simple words, we have used ODBC driver for MongoDB by Devart for this part of the system. This approach minimizes the need to refactor existing code and as the ODBC driver allows MongoDB to be treated similarly to SQL databases. That means if you have ODBC driver for your MongoDB or any other closed service, you can easily use it in any type of application like Power BI or any other type of data management systems. Besides, SecureBridge is a complete internet connected solution where you can add encryption, security, and integrate with other set of components without a problem. So if you're looking for a database and internet connectivity solutions, Unidac, SecureBridge, and any other required ODBC driver from Devart is the best combination of component set that you can add to your toolset. Well, now let me give you an example on how to use these components in your Delphi application. So I've already downloaded and installed this Universal Data Access components and also ODBC driver for MongoDB. As you can see, there is the Unidac components. So I'm going to select multi-device application Delphi. I'm going to go with the blank application right here. Okay, I'm going to change the layout. There we go. So in this project, we'll be connecting to cloud-based MongoDB database using this Unidac at ODBC for MongoDB driver in our Delphi application. So as you can see, we have this Unidac, Unidac cloud providers, Unidec providers categories that we can select. So I'm going to go with the Unidec right here. I'm going to put the T Uni connection component. There we go. And here, I'm going to put a T Uni connect a dialog FMX. I'm going to close this one. And inside this Unidec providers, we're going to put the T ODBC Uni provider. There we go. Now, let me open my web browser. Here, I have this simple one project on cloud.mongodb.com. I'm going to open this one. 
And if you click a browse collections right here, you will be able to see the databases. So I have this database called DevArt, and we have a Python connectors, Unidec, DBForge, the tables that we can use. And here inside the Unidec collection or a table, you can see that we have a few data inside it. And here we need to get the credentials to connect to this cloud database. So if you go to CMD line tools a tab right here, we have uh, several options. And if you click this one, connect instructions, you can see that there's like a, a shell, MongoDB for VS code, uh, drivers. And if you click the drivers right here, this is now showing the connection option for the Python driver, but we just need to copy this connection string right here. So this is the username and you're going to put the password and the, this is the cluster name, which is called cluster zero. And this is the address that we need to specify through our ODBC driver. So you're just going to copy it and go back to your uh, project. And at this point, I assume that you have already downloaded and installed the ODBC driver for MongoDB. So I'm going to open ODBC data sources 64 bit. And as you can see, we have uh, data sources, DBase, Excel, MS Access, but we need to go to a driver's tab right here. We have this uh, DevArt ODBC driver for MongoDB installed. So here, just going to click add. We're going to select the DevArt ODBC driver for MongoDB. And here, we need to specify this credentials right here to connect to the cloud-based MongoDB database. So for the data source name, I'm going to put cluster zero, which is the name of the data source in that uh, cloud database. So in my case, the server is something like this, cluster zero, MongoDB.net. We have not changed the port number, so it stays as a default value. And we need to provide the user ID, password, and a database. So I'm going to give my user ID, password, click the save password right here. For the database, it was DevArt, and we had like three tables inside it. And for the connection format, we need to select a DNS, a seed list. Now let's click this test connection button. As you can see, the connection is successful. So I'm going to click OK and I press OK right here. And we have this data source, which is directly specified to our MongoDB database, which is called DevArt. You can click and close it. And here in our Delphi application, we also need to do a quick configuration for this components. So you can just double click this one. And for the provider, you can select ODBC. And we have this class of zero already coming up. You can select that. And you also need to provide the username and password one more time. And we try to connect. There we go. We have a green flag. So I'm going to click OK. And as you can see, this is now connected and it's showing that it's true. Well, now we have connected to the database called DevArt and we need to fetch the tables from that database. And to do that, we're going to use Unitec component named tUnitTable. There we go. And the connection already specified right here. So if you come down to the table name, and if you click this little button right here, we have this uh, tables, dbforge, Python connectors, and a unit deck. So I'm going to go with the unit deck. There we go. And if you click this active button, as you can see, it already got the data. So if you open the visual binding window right here, as you can see, we have this ID and name. So I'm going to click this button, link a grid with the data source. I'm going to use T string grid, T unit table. There we go. 
I'm going to close this one. Maybe I can change its align property to client. And as you can see, we have the data. You can save the project and I'm going to run this under a debugging mode. Since we have this uh, connect FMX dialog, it's showing the this window right here. So I'm going to put the password, click connect. And as you can see, we have the data from that cloud-based MongoDB server. Well, now let's wrap this up. If you want to learn more about this product, you can always navigate to the uh, devbar.com. And as you can see, there's a big anniversary discount going on for all products. So if you're working on Delphi, C++ Builder, or a Lazarus-based projects, and need a powerful, flexible, and a high-performance solution for database access, Unidac is definitely worth considering. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions or need further details, feel free to leave a comment.